I mean, let's talk about the next song then. So the next song that we want to talk about is by Eric Nam featuring Loco. And this song, Can't Help Myself. songs. Uh, Eric Nam, uh, his last song was Good For You. It, it released around the same time as uh, Interview. Uh, yes. I, I remember kind of liking those songs, but they really grew on me. Uh, I really, really like them now. Um, Good For You was more of a ballad song, but this is like super the opposite. It's a really upbeat dance song, and he does a lot of weird, funky dancing. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Um, yeah, Eric Nam, I don't really like his... Um more ballady songs that much mm. uh because he never went full chingu with a guitar right mm. he never went full he can play the guitar right um he can yeah um but he never went full full on it mm. right like i think roy kim really went. stuck with it he yeah. went in deep yeah um uh, uh who else uh, eddie kim eddie kim john yeah. park yeah right uh, but eric nam has been dibble dabbling dibble and dabbling other things and i think I could be totally wrong, but I think this is the first one that's like super poppy. Mm. Like I, I'm not sure. Like his other I ones that I can remember yeah. are still very ballad based, mm. and I don't think this one's ballad based at all. It, it, I, I think it is more poppy than like Interview, but I don't. Uh, Maybe I, I I'm specifically thinking of Good for You or like Heaven's, Heaven's Door, Door or mm. like. Uh, some of his other stuff. That I he can't he, he has made one that was really poppy. I just can't, can't it doesn't come to mind. But a blue suit does come to mind. Mm. Uh, maybe I just never liked him. I mean, yeah, maybe that's why I, like I, I, yeah. I deleted it from my mind. Yeah, but um, I think uh, like you, I think poppy upbeat songs suit his voice a lot more because his voice sounds very bright. It's, yeah, it, you know, it, it doesn't have that kind of remorseful tinge to it. I think. You know, which is kind of, I think, necessary for ballad songs. If you know, I mean, raspiness, you know, remorse, kind of sadness to the voice. But uh, the backing track is kind of loud, and the the bass is really, really prevalent. And sometimes his voice is kind of hard to hear. Right? Yeah, there are sometimes. Um, you didn't really agree with me, but like during the chorus, I think specifically. Mm -hmm. Where the higher his voice goes, the less power his voice has. Mm. Um, so while he can hit high notes, yeah. he, he he can't hit him with power. Mm. So it, it gets drowned. His voice gets kind of drowned out sometimes by the backing mm. track. And I didn't really like that. Like, I wish he didn't need to go so damn high so that mm. he can put a little bit more power, a little bit more, like, mm. of, uh, uh, oomph in it. Um, but... As I heard this song more and more, more like I actually did enjoy him more every time. Mm. Um, I especially like that he just doesn't take himself seriously. Oh yeah. Um, so the, he's he's being a, a, as you said, a complete dork. Mm -hmm. I, I do think they go a little bit too hard on the like. I'm gonna make Eric Nam look like a dork, and like even though he's and obviously handsome dude, a handsome ass dude, yeah. and I don't think would ever. Have any problems yeah, with? Yeah, he ain't he ain't gonna be like they try really hard. I think to big bang theory him sometimes. Yeah, where they're like we're gonna put him in, like give him these old ass glasses. glasses but and, yeah, it, it screams to me like trying too hard, trying too hard on, yeah. on that front. 
Yeah. Um, like I think his natural personality is is, is I think he's a goofy guy. He's a goofy guy. Yeah. Uh, but I, they, I think they push his like I am kind of a try, they oh, sold it they kind of sold guy. it too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, but besides that, yeah. like he does a lot of cool. He does. You know, the one thing I hate the most is when people take themselves too seriously, mm. right? That's usually has nothing to do with pop ballady songs, but mm. like, you know, Sick K with the grills. Yeah. Nah, bro. No. We, we listened to a lot of songs this week of people taking themselves way too seriously. Yeah. Jay Park and Ugly Duck. Mm -hmm. Stop. Micro Dot. Full on. Stop. Full on Cholo, man. Stop. Right? It's really the bravado that really gets us. Yeah, because we know we know guys because we are guys ourselves, and we know guys have a certain pride to them, or they're trying to look cool, and it's just really obvious when you're trying really hard. Yeah, you're trying to. And Eric Nam, he he knows who he is. He's happy with who he is, and that that is, I think, really really kind of cool. Right? Yes, yeah. but uh, but to tie it back in, I do think sometimes he's trying way too hard. Hard to be yeah. in the opposite direction, yeah. where he's like trying way too hard to be the opposite of I'm going hard. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I'm going I, I, cute. Yeah, I think he's trying a little bit too hard. But, uh, you know, the song itself, I think, even though there are times where the highness does get drowned out, I, I really like the electric guitar. I really like the bass. And the electric guitar kind of rhythm really, really sounds like Maroon 5's Sugar. Yeah, it's like da 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 mm -hmm. da da Like, it's it's... Rhythmically, yeah, yeah, uh, and, well, and also the 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 note, the kind of chord hits. progression, yeah. Uh, but it doesn't go on for too long, like no. like that is the basis of sugar, right? Yeah. Uh, this is just it happens a little bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, also has a rapper, mm -hmm. Loco. Um, completely unnecessary. I really don't know why it's in the song. Yeah, he, he kind of just passes by, like. Yeah, uh, luckily it's not super long. Yeah, but it also does the whole thing where like, all of a sudden the backing track. It's not totally Frankenstein-y, but yeah. the backing track kind of changes. Loco yeah. comes on, you're like, oh, I forgot Loco's in this song. Yeah, um, but yeah, mm. I, I do relatively enjoy this song. Mm. I I do look forward to Eric. Now I don't watch too much Eric Nam stuff, no. but I know he's a lot of people really like him because he was on We Got Married. Mm -hmm. He's on uh, a lot of English speaking uh, mm -hmm. things like with uh, Pak Ji Min from mm -hmm. Fifteen Anna. I forgot what that show's called. Where it's like mostly in English. Yeah, I know. Just is this a song for you? No. No, it's more like an interview show. I watched it one time. I can't remember what it's on. Anyways. I don't think he's a host anymore. Anyways, um, but as time goes by, my voice is it's getting, getting worse, worse and worse. And I'm, I'm getting really tired. All right, let's let's um, try to. But you know what? I'm not tired of what audiobooks. Hey, uh, if you can't help us out on Patreon and you can't help us out on a PayPal. You can help us out by signing up for a free 30-day trial at audibletrial.com slash T-W-I-K. Three of you guys did use it last month. Hey. Recently, thanks. I saw that. Um, and so if you sign up for that free trial, you get a free audiobook from over 180,000 titles. Last time we mentioned how awesome it is if you got some Harry Potter. Yeah. Right? But recently, I also downloaded, I don't know why I did. But I downloaded all of the Percy Jackson books. Oh, those are good. Because oh, I read like three I like of them. That series. And then I never continued it. Um, I don't, actually, I think I, I haven't finished the series also. I kind of stopped before they were finished. There's a lot. There's yeah. like, the whole Percy Jackson is like seven or six. Yeah. Then there's another set later on, another like five yeah. or six. There's or a something. lot of Percy Jackson books. And then there's like, they just recently, he just recently started a new trilogy. That I did not know that. Like, <laughs> It's already like on the second book. Too. Damn. All right. But it's not just Percy Jackson. It's like Percy Jackson is about Percy Jackson. Yeah. The second group is about another group of people, but Percy oh. Jackson or at least characters from Percy kind of. show up. And the third one is again also about another one. But then if, if I rem recall, it's like Greek and then it's like Roman or then it's all different, like, mythologies. Just different mythologies and yeah. they all kind of uh, meet up in our bros. Yeah. Uh, but maybe you should download that. I don't know. Hey, you know, maybe. Maybe you just watched the movie and you're like, why the fuck? Would anyone want to see more of this shit? And you're right, because the movie sucked. But the books, not bad. Pretty damn good. Not bad. So check us out on Audible. And also, we didn't get any iTunes reviews. Oh, that's sad. Um, but you can do that. That helps out. Yeah. I want to talk more, but it hurts. All right. 